What is going on? It is Donald Poe Photography, and today we're going to talk about the Olympus E620. You know, I had this camera for about three weeks. The guy sent it to me. Like, it looked like it came off the dark web, but honestly, this camera is a jewel, like something that would have came off the dark web. It's nice, it's soft, it feels good, it's tactical experience, it's sharp images. We're going to talk more about the details of this camera shortly. So, let me just open up my show notes, because I am a professional, wink wink, so I need to read off the prompter, you know what I'm saying? Um talk about the little background of it so this camera came out in 09 it was like an intermediate beginner DSLR and personally this if this is a, a beginner DSLR and we're gonna compare it to today's the features that you get in here imagine a beginner DSLR came with like a 40 megapixel sensor mind you this is all under a thousand dollars by the way so 40 megapixel sensor um i'll say 30 30 megapixel sensor 4k 60 unrecorded um and what else we'll just say eight eight thousand of a second for shutter speed imagine all that in a beginner dslr today you'd run out like right now you'd stop what you're doing you'd put on your jeans your wrangler jeans hopefully and you go run to the store the closest target best buy camera store i don't know what's near you but you'd run there immediately you're like yo i need to get this camera if this was 2009 one i'd be a little monster because i got my lady gaga book right here but I'd be running to the store to buy the Olympus E620 because you get image stabilization, you get a new 12 megapixel sensor and the images are just so sharp. The images are so mm, mwah. Like 12 megapixels has a sweet spot in my heart. I'm looking at three cameras with a 12 megapixel sensor in front of me right now, like my Canon 5D and then my my Nikon, or if you're from the UK, Nikon. Um, Nikon right here. And lastly, my Olympus E620. Two full frame, one micro four thirds. Which one do I prefer? I mean the D700, but for this, this 12 megapixel sensor is something special. The color science of Olympus is I'm getting on a tangent here. I think I'm over here skipping ahead of the notes because I'm so excited to talk about this camera. So, we already talked about it's small, it's compact, and it's about the weight of my D3400. If you held the D3300, you'd you'd know, okay, this is around the same size. Now, before you say, hmm, why is that impressive, Donald? Like, it weighs as much as a beginner DSLR. So what? This has image stabilization. Now, I don't know if you heard that. Image stabilization in a camera that was about $800 in 2009, and right now it's about $150. You're telling me that you can get a camera with image stabilization for $150 with a lens? My brother, my sister, that's a deal. Um, 12 megapixels has that look, that, um, that noise. Like when you do get noisier images, the grain or noise looks good. Um, I prefer, I like noise. I don't care for noise, you know what I'm saying? People say, oh, I need my image to be clean. I need it super, super clean. No, you don't, you don't. There was noise in the pictures in the 70s. There was noise in the pictures in the 80s. There was noise in the pictures when they would go to the milkshake shop with their honey and they go out to make out point. There was green in images for almost 100 years. Literally the hundreds of years. You can't have a little noise? It's okay. N little noise ain't gonna kill you. So. This lens, the 14, the 42, I think it's equivalent since it's a four third sensor for um, 28 to 84. It's really good. It's actually really good. Like for a kit lens, it's really good. Like sharp vibrant 
fast autofocus. And I think you can get this lens for like 50 bucks probably. That's not bad for a lens. Um, the only bad thing about the image quality and specs is, you know, if you care for noise, once you hit 800, you're gonna see some noise. Don't freak out though, cause you got the noise, you have the noise reduction. It's not like the late 1990s and you know, computers still make that uh, sound, that Windows 98 sound to boot up, you know? It doesn't do that. Or the Windows 95 sound, it's my favorite. That was my first computer. It doesn't make that sound, so. It doesn't make that sound. Um. The. <laughs> I said noise and sound is hilarious. I want to talk about the art modes. Open it up, turn it on. So you have a couple art modes. You have grainy, I'll start from number one. You got pop art, which makes it pop. Warhol. Soft focus, if you really want a soft image, it looks nice. Pale and light color. That looks pretty good. I'm, I should have tried that on the boardwalk. And then you have light tone, grainy film. It's like New York City. And pinhole, which is like a vignette. So these are all some pretty cool art modes. I'm gonna put it on light tone right now. I just see that. All focus on hunt because it's an ultra camera. There we go. You hit it. Mm, that's really moody. So the art modes are pretty cool. It's like film simulations in a way, but not as complex. But $150, you get like some faux film simulations, sharp lens, and image stabilization, and a pop-up flash. We're gonna make it pop up real quick because I love pop-up flash. It does a little, when it's hunting, for autofocus, it's gonna have like a strobe. I apologize if you're epileptic, my fault. I'm gonna pop that over. I don't want it soon. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna just summarize this video real quick because you know, actual final thoughts. Actually, before the final thoughts, I'm gonna talk about Atlantic City. I went to Atlantic City. I'm a little tired. You know, I won. It is the Vegas of the East Coast. Um, this camera is the perfect have around camera. I'm going to coin that term, the have around, because I ain't see it yet on YouTube. This is the first video you're going to see, the have it around term. This camera is the perfect camera to have around. I gave this camera to my girlfriend to use while we're in AC, and on the trip to AC, I live in Jersey, so it's close, and she took some really good images. Really good images. And she's not a photographer, by the way. I also gave it to my seven-year-old little sister. And I'm gonna share one of the images she took. I like it. It looks nice. It looks moody. She did her thing. Shout out my little sister Pearl, the goat, you know? And I gave it to a seven year old. I gave it to a 19 year old. This camera is the perfect have around camera because they both figured out how to use it and they created beautiful art with it. So now you just wanna have a camera that you don't really. Like, oh no, I don't want to drop, or oh, I'm going to be down $3,000. I'm going to have to call Johnny around the corner, and I'm going to have to sell a couple of my things in order to beat the sunken cost. <laughs> um, the E620 is perfect because it's under $200, as of right now. I, I got it for $150. So if I got it for $150, I'm pretty sure you can find a better deal. Check locally. For 150, you get pop-up flash, image stabilization, zoom lens up to 84, of course. The bulkhead is, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like the little flippy screen. You know, people are obsessed with flippy screens. I think this has video. I haven't found the video, but you know, we're gonna just take a little selfie real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're just like. Just throw myself real quick. There we go. We got a little selfie going. A little flippy screen. 
So my girlfriend prefers the screen out too. She was like, just using it. I'm like, I put the screen away. You look through the DSLR. Because the thing about screens, sometimes like you just focus on looking at the screen and you miss the image versus putting it to your face and going, okay, I see it. Um, let's just talk about my final thoughts. We're just going to breeze through this because I, I know you guys don't have all day. The E620 is a camera that costs about $150, $200 with the lens. Not bad. Not a bad deal, especially since you get sharp images with great color straight out of the camera. You get a lens, body, on-camera flash, and image stabilization for under $300. Not a bad deal. Go buy a camera with all that today. How much would that cost you? Your first newborn son. That's how much it would cost you to get a camera with all these features. Now granted, it's only 12 megapixels, oh no. For 12 megapixels, they were printing billboards with 6 megapixels. I think you'll be alright with 12 megapixels. So let's calm it down, okay Sally? Um, for cleanest results, I do recommend shooting this like a CCD camera, like a D200. I only go the ISO 400 preferred during like daylight because I like to shoot at 8 and 11 uh, aperture for sharp results because I don't need a blown out background all the time. You know, we're taking photos, I'm taking photos of roses and stuff like that, man. Um, as for the noise, if you do get bothered by noise, you know, you can always just denoise. Lightroom has it, Photoshop has it, it's pretty cool. The noise, please. If you really need no noise, just the noise. Um, I recommend this camera, and I coined it as a have around camera. For a simple camera, you can just put in your living room for you, your father, or maybe your son, or maybe your, your niece or your brother to pick up. Just have it around. It's a have around camera. The flash works. You're gonna capture so many intimate moments because it's right there. It's light. You're gonna forget it's there. You know, it's not like staring at you, like my D700 and it's like oh take me out you know you want to use it now I love the results from the D700 but staring at me and I'm like I'm talking about the E620 but the E620 is a solid camera recommended for a friend for sure um I just want to say if you have a have around camera or if you love Olympus if you have any experience with Olympus cameras even the old school ones let's talk about it tell me what you like about it like comment subscribe i appreciate you guys tell me what you want to see i'll talk about anything and you guys are the best i appreciate all 229 of you i think it is thank you thank you for coming for a donald poe uh, a certified donald poe photography video since we're going all over the place we're not staying on track but that's what we do over here in my little bedroom <laughs> thank you i really appreciate you guys you're the best have a good one